Okay, so you spend all of your hard earned money on that fancy new camera you really wanted and now your computer can't keep up with the footage or you just want to speed up 4K 120 FPS footage 20 times. Whatever the reason is, your computer can't keep up with the footage. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your workflow and play back any footage really smoothly. I'm going to show you how to create proxies inside of Final Cut Pro. So let's jump right into Final Cut Pro. I have this drone clip of mine, it's 4K 60fps. It plays back smoothly, but, but yeah, it stutters a little bit. And if I would, for example, speed it up like four times and press play, it would not be able to okay it can immediately play it back because the computer is kind of fast but let's pretend it does not work after all it's just one clip in a timeline and once you add more the project will be slower so how can we create a proxy file inside of Final Cut Pro you just have to find the clip you want to transcode or maybe transcode all clips I would recommend that so you just go up to your finder window and click on the clip or click command a if you have more clips to select them all then right click or if you have the trackpad double click on it and go to transcode media here it should automatically select create proxy media h.264 and then click on ok and now it will transcode automatically this of course depends on how many clips you want to transcode how long the clip is maybe even the resolution since we just have one clip it should go really fast and you can actually track how much it has already transcoded by clicking up here on this symbol and you can see transcoding and analysis this one clip if you would transcode more of course all of the clips would show up here and you can see how much percent it has transcoded you can even pause it or cancel it but we don't want to do that so let's just wait until it is transcoded there we go it almost transcoded completely and it's done so how can we now toggle between the original media and the transcoded proxy media if you just go up here to view click on it and as you can see under media playback we can select optimized original proxy preferred or proxy only of course optimized and original will give you the original clip with all its glory lossless and everything but of course then you don't have the benefits of using proxy files for the editing then you can select proxy preferred this will show you both optimized original media and proxy media if you have a proxy file created for it and you can select proxy only if you click on proxy only it will only show you files where you have a proxy file created for it if you have clips where you just have the original file I'm going to show you in a second then it will not show anything so for example if I drag in another clip the clip we transcoded was clip 168 now I dragged in 169 of course we're still on optimized and original if we click on proxy only as you can see this one will show missing proxy but if we click on proxy preferred it will show the proxy clip and the original clip so let's delete this one again as we don't need it and select proxy preferred it's already selected and now if we speed up that clip to for example 20 times we can see it's buttery smooth of course it's really quick but even if I lengthen it we can see it's just of course stuttery because the drone is, is flying but it plays back really smoothly and does not skip any frames and that's how you use proxy files inside of Final Cut Pro I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new if you did please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more videos just like this one on the topic of Final Cut filmmaking and everything you can watch more videos right here right here you can subscribe right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video goodbye and happy editing mm -hmm.